Hi, Kevin Fullington here. Welcome back to the weekly strategy session. First thing, it's the summer now, so we have summer interns coming in. So I'd like to introduce you to one of our interns. This is Connor. Where are you, Connor? Say hey hello guys. to everybody. What are you working Hi, on? The schedule. Scheduling. Good stuff. Yeah. That's an exciting summer. Let's see what's going on with the whiteboard, see what people have drawn up on there, what silly antics are going on back there. Let's head back. Hope you're all having a nice day. Let's see what's going on in here. Here's the whiteboard. So what we're talking about is the budget, right? This week saw more chaos and disorganization in Albany, and we still don't have a final budget done. So what, what does that mean for the state of New York, the fact that uh, our leaders once again have kicked the can down the road, they've delivered nothing for the people of the state, they've forestalled any tough decisions and made Rick Lazio's life more difficult when he's elected governor next year because they refuse to take any serious actions, make any tough decisions. So what are we stuck with? We are stuck with a $40 billion three-year deficit. And what we're doing is we're turning some of these into another web ad that we've done. So you'll see this coming up. I'll give you a little preview. $40 billion is larger than the GDP of 103 countries. It's an amazing and staggering number. The other number we're playing with to try to make our web ads a little entertaining is this year they're contemplating increasing taxes by $1.2 billion. So by our calculations, with that money, you could buy almost half of the GM building and turn it into a water park. And then it would be you could get New Yorkers to ride the log flume down and splash Andrew Cuomo at the bottom. And that would only cost you $1.2 billion, the amount of money they're going to increase taxes by this year. It's a staggering number. And our leaders continue to fail us, which is why we need fundamental and sweeping reform in Albany. Um, this weekend is Independence Day, so I wanted to just leave you with quickly what I think is one of the greatest movies of all time and one of the greatest movie clips of all time um, for your Independence Day weekend. So donate to us at lazio.com slash donate. And enjoy this movie clip, and we'll see you back here next week. Bye. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interest. Perhaps it's fate that today is the 4th of July, and you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution, but from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live, to exist. And should we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day.